Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, I have done a bit since the last time I've recorded. I went and visited the final two planets in this system. The first one is the one I'm currently standing on, which I believe kind of resembles the moon slightly. It has the same kind of texture and is really open spaces, and that's kind of why I like this. And the second one was a red planet, which I missed the chance of calling Mars. Um, which was completely red rocks, quite a few hills and caves, etc. And when I ended up landing there, it was extreme temperatures, and there was no life forms or anything, so it had ended up getting pretty boring fairly quickly. But back to this world. This world's pretty fun, and I've saved one building to go and explore with you guys just before I move on to bigger things in the sky. Oh, are these like mini stegosauruses? Have I explored these? Yes, I called it a six-legged rammer for some reason. But yeah, I can go and um, explore this one building with you guys. There is um, a few more frame rate issues recently on No Man's Sky, and I don't exactly see how that's helping the game, so I apologize if there is any significant frame drops. There's not much I can do to change that. It's just the game designer's way of Destroying the hype, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I still love the game, so I'm not going to bash it too much. Oh, my inventory's full, so I hope there's somebody to sell stuff to over here. I'm going to ignore the little room for the time being and go into this big one. Where I hope there is some life forms. No life forms, but pretty solid 60 FPS, damn. I guess they might have heard my cries. Um, let's have a look in here. Uh, images show that this observatory is once a, once a war zone. Okay, so these codes are pretty easy to crack. You just have to look which number orientation hasn't already been used, which is the seven one. Um, the new destination deep within the cosmos. So basically, just a monument. <laughs> I think we can go and explore this monument just before we head out into the next dimension, so to say. Uh, inventory full, even more inventory full. And I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Yep, locked door. Alright then, I can head out into this room. The frame rate drops seem to happen when I enter these small rooms and leave them. But I'm not entirely sure what it is at the moment. Life support power low. I wouldn't say it's that low. Right, so head back up to the ship, which I uh, inconspicuously placed all the way up there. For my benefit and nobody else's, obviously. I mean, I get benefit out of this, of course. It's not like I have to run half the way across the moon to get it. And yeah, for some reason, the bottom part of my hood isn't showing at the moment. But if it was, you could see that I'd named this place The Moon. I know The Moon is just what we've called our moon, even though loads of planets have moons. But I'm calling this one The Moon. For the sake of it. Right, over here is our monument. If I can end up getting to it. Okay, so there's a little thingy below me. I'm going to ignore that. There's a little floaty thingy there, but again, I'm going to ignore that. Yes, I do want to leave this uh, area of the universe. Okay, that was a long drop. And how close am I to this? Not oh, fairly close. I just explore what words I can learn for the bike. Restore. Memories of Ziminokamos. Whatever that is. The great monolith spoke to Herc of the Travellers. 
Okay, so I'll seek help with the language. Power. Seems like a pretty good word to learn, speaking of the Vikings. Or Vikings. Ally. Hmm, okay. Again, a pretty handy word to learn. Um, this seems to be it, yeah? I mean, I've been up to the tops of those before and there isn't really anything there. So it looks like it's time to leave this universe, so to speak. Or this solar system. At least they are my plans. If this hyperdrive is... Uh, well, let's just say if it has enough energy. Otherwise, I don't know how to get a warp cell. How do I use that? I don't use it. How do I use that? I don't. That, I don't. That. Again, I don't. So... This hyperdrive um, seems to be pretty good over there. But I need warp cells. Uh, if this isn't full enough already, as I just said, I will have to go and look for some, but I have to hold out hope that it is. There goes nothing. Into the planets. Atmosphere. Where the frame rate drops like crazy for some reason. Uh, so that was the other planet which I named Kenny Booze for reasons unspoken of. Um, there is the planet I named Stephen Tran. There is Nujumki. And this is basically all there is of this uh, solar system, I'm afraid to say. So now I can move on. Let's have a look. This is every single star in. well, everywhere. And I'm going to guess, Gunu, I'm going to guess that this yellow line is the path it wants me to follow. Hence why I'm going to follow it. This is the Malas, the Malak Stami region. Let's engage warp drives to three planets, two moons, shall we? And it's working. Wow. Goodbye, Vikings. Or oh, Moon Men. I guess I could go with Moon Men, right? I hope you guys know that reference. Here we are, in System Malakstami in the Elusive Galaxy. Okay. Kumuro Bidzi. Um, Silver Kolf. Bedville Kerf. And Moons, anywhere? Whoa, what the heck is that? Space Station. Himero Skuri, or something like that. I mean, I don't even know if they require accents, etc. Um, I suppose, seeing as we landed here, we might as well go straight into Kumuro Bidzi and see what it has to offer. I will not come up with names for these until I am given them. And down we go. We have. Well, quite a while remaining. Let's just speed that up, shall we? And I'd prefer not to crash. Pulse engine offline. Planetary interference. Well, that is good. Hmm, it's a very brownish planet, which generally is a good thing. There's no water there. I don't tend to find planets with water on. I only found that one toxic planet. Be nice to find the one they showed in the E3 trailer. Alright, down we go. 
just the blue thing. Is it just going to be one of those like Heridium rock statue things? Yes, it is. What the heck is this? Let me uh, quickly land. If I have a best guess, this planet is going to be hot. Other than that, I don't really think there's much it could be. Weather balmy. Sentinel's passive. Florida void. Fawn of the void. Oh. Well, it seems the planet's habitable, but it's just very boring. Wait, I thought I had a shadow for a second then, but it was just the boxes. So I was going to say, I haven't noticed that before. But seeing as I know there is somebody who is really into these videos, I'm going to call this galaxy. Where are we? And the Malak Starmy. Not for long. We're going to name this the Blobber Galaxy. There you go. You deserved it. Um, these silicate. I don't need silicate. Uh. Sentries are passive, although I would suppose they're passive everywhere now, until you start attacking stuff. Or am I reading into that wrong? So, so far this planet seems cool. I have heard about the base building and freighter building coming in a later expansion. Oh, like, well, I hope it's not an expansion, I hope it's just an update. But coming in a later update. And if I wanted to settle down any planet, it would have to be New Junkie, the Viking homeland. The Viking, Viking, Viking. They're all the same, really. But it would have to be the Viking homeland. I mean, the galaxy is the homeland, but that planet specifically, it just seems the most habitable, to be honest. I mean, it might be a bit cold, but other than that, it was very nice compared to everything else I've found so far. You see what I mean? This planet's just a tad boring, to be honest. There isn't really much to it. Apart from the fact that I can't even find any buildings anywhere. What is this below me? I think that's just a cave. Oh, over here. Let's land, shall we? I kind of want to land close to it. This galaxy is interesting, to say the least. Let's say this point. The good step. <laughs> okay. The thing is, I might not actually be on this planet very long. So the point of me naming things after people while I wait might not actually work. What the heck is this? Does this seem slightly weird? What the heck? Does this even do anything? Hmm, strange. What's this? Ooh. New technology. Gek. Ah, we're on a Gek planet. Okay. So, there was one thing I did whilst I was exploring, and it was I found a Gek uh, word on this um, religious tablet thing. I had to pick between three pillars, and I picked the one with handprints, and uh, apparently that was a uh, Gek language. And from watching a few No Man's Sky videos, as far as I can tell, I didn't want to watch too much because I didn't want to spoil much, but I did find the out what the Gek are. And they're like frog bird small things. Which is interesting. Yes, some upgrade here. Good news. And I just hit my microphone. Congratulations. If you guys want to know a tip for landing, let me just move my microphone back. Go. 
If you guys want to know a tip for landing, tip your ship on its side and uh, you'll kind of be able to see where you're landing. That's what I do sometimes. It's just very tricky to pull off some. Because, uh, depends what kind of planet you're on, I guess. What do we have here? Please be a backpack upgrade. Exosuit. Well, yeah, that's kind of the same thing. I've been playing too much Dance now. <laughs> uh, upgrade exosuit for a lot of money. That's all I've been spending my money on recently. Whenever I find these, I buy the upgrades. Nothing found. Well, wow, so you wouldn't let me open it for nothing. Um. Oh, my happy drive's out. That's uh, not good. Use this power canister, because I don't really want those in my life. Oh, come on. <laughs> well. Alright, so I guess we're just going to wait for more power canisters to uh, be used up before we can fill up anything else, unless I sell them. Oh, that's a good point. I can use them on my life support. I don't care if it's a waste by using two of them, but I'm going to use them anyway. Alright, let's head out and find something interesting. If we're not going to find anything interesting within the, the next landing... Ooh, never mind. Seems interesting enough, no? Um, the problem is I'm not actually going to be friends with whoever I land next to. Whenever I find life on this planet, I'm going to have to make completely new friends. Because the Vikings... Now, they're nice people. But the Gex? How am I supposed to know what to interpret them as if I haven't seen them before? What the heck was that? So, you can actually see three planets in the sky from this planet, which is really cool. I like that. Thing is, there's no fauna on the planet, so no tree. Trees fly out the other way around. So, no trees, which uh, kind of makes the planet feel a lot like the moon. And again, which makes it a pretty boring planet to stick around on for too long. Uh, there's no entrance over here. Um, the entrance is here. I don't know, these um, things confuse me. Oh, I'm destroying this. You know what? Let's make enemies of the Gex. I've made friends of the Vikings. Oh, can you not, really? Come on then. Let's get on the bad side of the sentinels. Uh oh. Forces you to reload, there's no damn auto reload. Well, I would love an auto reload. Come on, 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 come on. I need to break into this eventually. Um, where are you? Yeah, I want your attention. <laughs> what is going on here? Hello, Mr. Sentinel. Oh, he's okay. Ooh, kills him instantly, that's nice. Grenade propulsion, already known. Sentinel force deactivated. Kidding me. Where were the other sentinels I killed? Did they not drop things? Okay, well this is on red alert, which is never a good thing. Can I shut you down? I guess I have to answer this correctly. Um this is a problem. The security alert is scrambling on the screen. It's chaotic jumble of words. There's not enough visible text to point me towards the right workflow and potentially to bring the installation back online. Docking. Um, okay. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. I just said get because that's the kind of planet we're on, correct? How oh, can I not just shoot these doors down? What is this? Come on. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to find out how to get these Atlas passes eventually. 
so I can make some progress. But otherwise, that was a poor haul. Oh, really? Um, goodbye, fascination bead. Neutro module. So I already have one of those. Oh, can you switch back? There we go. And I can't remember whether I said there was a small building over here. I guess not. Let's head back to my ship. What do you want, Sentinel? <laughs> hmm, nice. Just, uh, bump up that life support, shall we? Even if it's not for that long. What do you want? Oh, come on, then. I'm starting a fight. You really have to get stuck behind buildings. This is, uh, embarrassing for you, surely. Police force of the galaxy gets stuck behind. What? Oh, come on. You're too easy to evade. So, this is an operations center. An operations center doesn't really do anything, to be honest. So, the Sentinels are passive on this planet, right? Apparently, not passive enough. Um, nothing going on down there. Let's sort this life support issue, Michiki, out, shall we? No, I don't have any carbon. Hmm. Carbon's what I would have used. I don't know if another substance makes it any more powerful. I'm going to presume not, otherwise it would uh, tell you what it's fueled with. Okay, there's a building there, it just doesn't look like a habitable one. So I'm going to travel around a little bit. What the heck? Oh, it's a floating queue. I thought it was a floating like building or something. Do, 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 do. Let's go and uh, have a look for some other stuff. This doesn't look um, uh, screw it, let's just land anyway. I can't exactly tell what it is, but I'm just gonna land. It's planes and again another boring place. Unfortunately, the only thing I care about finding on this planet is some Gex. Let's find uh, some of the Gex. Gex land. Uh, new technology, etc. Which is a good point. I should probably upgrade my gun at some point. Let's just hop back into the ship and I'll have a look into it. Because I know I can, all I have to do is destroy the old components. Let's have a look at my multi tool. Scanner, scanner booster. So I can't get rid of that because that's not actually the booster itself. So those three are important to keep. Um, a beam intensifier. Speed up terrain destruction. Extend time between cooldown periods. So what do I actually have? I have one and one, one. I'm looking for twos, twos, twos. Oh, really? It's going to be that boring. Okay then. So a two on the. No, nothing. This is what I'm after. Or can I actually build these? Oh, okay. So I think I can build them. I just don't have the stuff I need to build them. 
Mining beam in combat. Well, that is really just pointless, right? Because I just used the gun. Uh, what's this do? Short bursts. Wait, what? Bolt caster releases short rapid sequences of fire. So that's basically making it a burst fire weapon. Um, or a shotgun. Okay, let's get some copper because a shotgun sounds fun. Do I not have any in the ship? I did last time I checked. Guess not anymore. Let's go and do one last little bit of exploration on this planet. Hopefully find someone to sell stuff to. This looks good. Looks like we're landing on a landing pad and possibly... Well, most of the time when there's a landing pad, there's a life form. That's what they always say, isn't it? Where there's a landing pad, there's a life form. What the heck? Hello, Mr. Frog that doesn't look anything like a bird but has two gigantic horns on its head for some apparent reason. Uh, let's look into this and let's toss away the shielding shard. I mean, there is a sales thingy right behind it, but you know. I'm a customer, but their voice is really weird. Well, it says give, so I'm presuming it wants units. Uh, ten units is nothing. I'm not going to pat the thing on the head. It gives me something in exchange. Ooh. Increases the available energy within the user's life support systems. Allows for extended periods of planetary exploration. I mean, that's cool and all, but... It's just easy to refill as it is. Uh, this is... Nah, I mind. I thought it was going to be something good. <laughs> Let's sell some stuff to the Galactic Trade Network. In fact, before I do that, let me see if I can sell stuff to this guy. Are you kidding me? Okay, out we go. Let's have a look for some carbon. Carbon, 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 carbon. Doesn't exist on this planet. Never mind, it does. There's some carbon right now. I can speak to it. Oh, damn it! Right, I'm gonna sell something because I was presuming that possibly the Viking things would sell for more to a different species. Uh, Gek charm. Let me just sell that. I mean, unless it comes into the fact that they want their own charms. He's on an iPad as well, have you noticed? <laughs> Hail. Or oh, hey, oh, never mind. Um, no, I can't actually sell stuff to him. Never mind. And I'm not a close enough ally to ask for fuel, which would be pretty good. Right, here goes nothing. I don't know what they do, don't know what that does. As far as I can tell, I just need the inventory space over anything else. That sold for a lot. So I'm going to hope that that was a good thing to do. Our standing with the Gek has increased. Which is nice as always. So then guys, I think next time we will go and explore the rest of these planets and see what they have in store for us. But for now, it is the end. So then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance and I'll speak to you all next time.